Hello everyone, this is Infinity Maths and my name is Rehan Nawaz. Today in this video, we are going to understand what is a square minus b square visually. So let's begin with a square. If I ask you, what is the area of this square? You can say the dimension is a by a, so definitely the area is going to be a square. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a smaller square in a corner, something like this. And I'm going to call the dimension as b by b. So what will be the area of the smaller square? That is going to be b square. Now I want you to cut this off from the bigger square and look at the remaining portion. It would look something like this. Now if I ask you what is the area of this new shape, you're going to call it a square minus b square. That is area of big square minus area of smaller square because smaller square has been taken away. Now if I ask you what is this new shape? Now you can say that, okay, it's a closed figure and how many sides we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, a closed figure with six sides. So a polygon with six sides. What do you call? You call it hexagon. It's a funny looking hexagon, but it's definitely a hexagon. Now if I ask you, what is the length of this side of the hexagon and this side of the hexagon? Because the remaining four sides we know, A, A, B, B. Now we know this complete square had this side as A and this smaller square had side B. So definitely this is nothing but the big length minus the small length which is going to be A minus B. So I'm going to say this side is going to be A minus B. Now similarly if I ask, if I have to guess what is the length of this side, again you know this complete length is A and this complete and this small length is B. So definitely this is also going to be A minus B. So this is the hexagon whose six sides are A, A, B, B and A minus B, A minus B. Now if you look, this hexagon is made of two rectangles. What is the dimension of the big rectangle? You can say, okay, this is A and this is A minus B. So you can say the dimension is A by A minus B. And what is the dimension of a small rectangle? So you can say, okay, this is B and this is A minus B, B by A minus B. Now both these rectangles, th their dimension has A into A minus B and B into B A minus B. So one of the sides are equal of both the rectangle. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to carve this rectangle out. Now you have this A by A minus B and this as B by A minus B. I am going to align in such, way, such a way that both A minus B align together. So I'm going to rotate it and put it somewhere here. Now what I can do, I can fix these two rectangles together and make a bigger rectangle. So it would look something like this. Now if I ask you what is the dimension of this big rectangle, you are going to say, sir, it is A plus B and this is A minus B. So what will be the area of this big rectangle? you're going to say it is a plus b into a minus b. Now this complete big rectangle has area a plus b into a minus b, which is nothing but equal to your a square minus b square. So if anybody asks you what is a square minus b square, you're going to say it can be factored into a plus b into a minus b. I hope you understood the idea that how visually we, imp we prove this amazing identity, which has a lot great applications in mathematics and if you remember our square video we actually used this identity to square numbers very very quickly